Welcome to science class. I'm Tom. Alfred Wegener versus the world. Sixth graders from San Jose, California from Matheson Middle School present to you one of the great science history battles of all time, continental drift. Wegener proposed the theory of continental drift in the 1920s. Most geologists of the time, known as Fixis, didn't buy it. Until Harry Hess came through in the 1950s and discovered a mechanism that could explain continental drift. Browsing through some books, Wegener was intrigued. Continental drift was just too incredible to believe. How could the same species have gotten from one part of the world to another? Drift. Drift. Pan, 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 Continents are drifting, mountains are uplifting. Things to see flow spread and happen at the ocean ranges. Magna, magna, man, you're tripping. The only thing that's drifting is your brain. Things have been the same ever since existence. Continents are drifting, Drift. mountains are uplifting. Drift. Things to see flow spread and happen at the ocean ranges. Magna, man, you're tripping. The only thing that's drifting is your brain. Things have been the same ever since existence. Cut them out the book, notice their shape. They're pretty, pretty well, dare I dare say. You're stretching those out in the worst way. They've been fixed since the Earth's first birthday. I know the continents are drifting. Why though? Why though? On either side of the Atlantic, there are fossils of this dino. I know, I know there was probably a land bridge. How does that explain where those blocks up toward the planets? You got a lot of confidence from me, meteorologists. Believe those continents are us, geologists. You all be continental drifters soon. You just full of hot air like your weather balloons. Pangea. Continents are drifting, that's Drift. they're uplifting. Drift. Things to see fall spread and happen at them ocean ridges. Fake the man, you tripping. The only thing is drifting is your brain. Things have been the same ever since existence. Browsing through some book, Wegener was intrigued. Continental drift was just too incredible to believe. How could the same species have gotten from one part of the world to another? Drift. Drift. Pan, 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 Sorry, Wegener. It's just not clicking. Evidence you're cherry picking it, and you got no mechanism. If you're gonna make claims about the earth, you need a mechanism, gotta tell us how it works. Well, I got a couple of guesses. Shoot, typical forces caught per flu. Maybe the dinos take a ride. Saw so tiny little forces coming from tides. There's nothing strong enough to move that bigger land mass. Sounding like you really are full of hot gas. The evidence is clear, even though you won't budge. Continents are drifting, let the future be the judge. Hey, it's Harry Hess, and it's after the war. I've been using sun, not a map, the ocean floor. There is magma at a mid Atlantic ridge that is oozing, creating new seafloor, got the tonic plates moving. When the magma comes up, volcanoes are awakening. Up at the plate boundaries, earthquakes are shaking in. You hear that fixes? Wegener's theory is elegant. Note to self, don't ignore the evidence. Continents are drifting, Drift. mountains are uplifting. Drift. Thanks to seafloor spread and happen at the Ocean ridges. Drift. Harry Hess had discovered that the seafloor was spreading. Drift. Drift. Pan, 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 watching i hope you enjoyed it big ups to bill nye for the sample if you want to learn more about the content about the video about the backstory all of these options are available on the blog sciencewithtom.com see the link in the description below if you want to watch another science history battle rap recommend this one you'll enjoy it